जीरो कंप्लीट लेवल मौज में रहो बीआरपी श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर् ब्रह्मा गुरुर् विष्णु गुरुर् देवो महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम परग्रह गृहिणी पुत्र द्रविण नाम नाम आगमे विनाशे वाम प्रथित हर्ष विषाद किं वा सैता क्षण स्था यदि किसी के बारे में हमने सुना इफ वी हियर अबाउट समबडी पर गृह समबडी एल्स एज हाउस समबडी एल्स एज वाइफ समबडी एल्स एज चिल्ड्रन समबडी एल्स एज प्रॉपर्टी वेन दे गेट और दे लूज डज इट मेक एनी डिफरेंस टू अस आगमे विनाशेवा देर फोर दो पीपल हु गेट मैरिड ओनली दे आर हैप्पी अदर्स आर इंटरेस्टेड इन ईटिंग फूड प्रतीत हर्ष विषाद कि एज थिंग्स हैपनिंग टू अदर्स वी आर नॉट एट ऑल Getting influence because स्थातम क्षणम स्थातु क्योंकि हमको वहां दो मिनट के लिए रहना यार क्यों परेशान हो भाई शुड गेट इन्वॉल्व विथ एनी थिंग दिस प्रिंसिपल वी हैव टू फॉलो विच आई फॉलो आई गो टू सो मेनी प्लेसेज सो मेनी हाउसेज स्टे सो मेनी सो बिफोर आई रीच देयर आई नो आई एम लिविंग Don't we know when we are born? Are we born to live or we are born to die? We are born to die, not to live. Live life is happening. So as we go to someone else's place and stay, so we don't get involved beyond limits. Otherwise, we will be unnecessarily getting involved and suffer. See. Here only it happened. There was one Swamiji from Ramakrishna Mission. He is no more now. He was earlier with uh, Fiji from um, Mission, and uh, then he used to come here and go. So once he decided now enough going back, so he wanted to stay here for good. So after staying, it's okay. Come stay, have some sangha and go. But once it so happened, he came. He stayed one week, two weeks, three weeks. Somebody, you don't have any other program. Not only that, then he started getting involved in the family matters. Why that person is coming? I don't think he is a good person. Use our mantra. Who asked you? See, finally. He was told to please find out another place. Exactly the same way, we are in this world as a temporary arrival, and we have to depart. We hold on to this in such a manner; it is eternal. This is what I like among the white people. They are not attached to anything or anybody. we hold on to the same thing this uh, i remember one man here in in india only somewhere he used to come on a bicycle very funny kind of bicycle i said ya yeah, throw it away new things have come he said swami ji do you know this bicycle was used by my great grandfather and he used to go on this bicycle for the freedom fighting um, 
meetings. How many is more than uh, 80, 90 years old? I said, nothing has changed. He said, no. Tires have changed, tubes have changed, then the wheels have changed, the chassis has changed, but it is the same. <laughs> Everything has changed. Is it not our life? Everything is changing. Our values change, our priorities change, our import, everything is changing. And yet I am the same. Therefore, the Age Naike Amrutatva Manashu, when it is said, if you are doing something and if it is fructifying, if it is mature, it will drop. If the fruit is on the tree and uh, when the fruit matures, becomes ripened, it automatically drops. Exactly the same way. Whatever we are doing in this world, whether living our regular life or we are doing upasana, if that becomes mature, it will drop. And how do we know it has been dropped properly? You will be left with no guilt if you stop doing something. See? One lady asked me this question. Um, when should I stop chanting? I said continue. Till when? Till you die or the mantra dies. But you are not doing, I said I am not doing. Why? I said, it is mature. Then, I said, look here. Don't bother about outside. Attention should be, whatever we do or we don't do, does it leave a scar on your mind or not? No impression should be formed on the mind as a result of our interaction in this world. Like you are listening to satsang. No impression can be formed because you are not listening to something other than yourself. Therefore, don't try to understand anything. I try to understand. I don't know why I don't remember. Very good. Do you remember yourself or you know yourself? Memory is about others. Then how to remember God? Stop forgetting the world. How to think about the God? Stop thinking about the world. See how simple it is. Therefore, this Vairagya begins with this understanding. We are in this world for a short period. Forget about it. And then you get a different vision altogether to look at the same world. Like many people say, the, you know, dogs live only for 20 years, the rats live only for a few days and all that. Now, for every one of us, the time scale is different. 100 years for us and 20 years for the dog, they are equal. Their time scale is different. Isn't it the time scale of a dreamer and the time scale of the waker is different? In the dream, we go to Switzerland and come back within one minute. How can you cross such a long distance and come? Therefore, slowly, slowly, when you are thus remaining in tune with your own being, nothing in this world can create any thought or disturbance in your mind. Undisturbed mind is a platform where the bliss manifests. So, Pratito Harshi Vidao Kim Vasyad Kshanam Satuhu Deva Sitam Gatam Vayam Kachit Vishayam Idyam Alpava Na Tushanna Siddhantviksha Gureshu Atiti Vannivaset. Therefore, Deva Sitam Gatam Vayam. Whatever has happened in our life, okay, come and gone, something good, something bad, something worthy, sometimes not worthy, 
न तुष्यन न स्विदन डोंट बिकम टू एक्साइट दिस हैपन और समथिंग रॉन्ग हैज हैपन नो नो देन गुरुशी अतिथिवत तिष्ठे निवसे लिव लाइक ए विजिटर इन दिस वर्ल्ड we have to use the normal language but understanding should be different so when we go in the flight hey, this is my seat seat yes your seat so when we get out do we carry the seat meri thi the friends so language has to be the same but understanding should be totally different therefore gruheshu atithi vat nivaset live in this world as a visitor don't get entangled too much with anything or anybody in life friends those who are living with themselves eternally and coming in contact with the world they do not create friends and enemies that is our maha mantra kisi ko aao mat kaho kisi ko jao mat kaho aao mat kaho don't create friends jao mat kaho don't create enemy then be friendly with everyone भगवान से दिन गीता मैत्र करुण ए वच अद्वेष्टा सर्वभूता नाम मैत्र मैत्र मीन्स बीइंग फ्रेंडली सो ममता अभिमान शून्यो विषय परांग मुखा परांग मुख पुरुषः चिष्ट नपी निज सदने न बाध्यते कर्म भी क्वापी सो ममता अभिमान शून्य विषय ही हु इज दस लिविंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड विदाउट द एटीट्यूड ऑफ पॉजिटिवनेस this we have to learn ourselves like you all must have had been staying in some other houses and then you got sufficient money and then you want to have a new house so when you left the earlier house was there any loss when you got a new house is there any gain ye to chalta hi rahega so many times things have come and gone therefore mamita mamata abhimana shunya and visheshu parang mukah not getting too much involved in the worldly possessions this is one of the most important thing in life the other day who asked told me here only kamidi after listening to you i did it and i tell you i felt so happy very good do you know i said i don't know i don't want to know also i said you happy continue if you are miserable continue you make story you know i had a car and i was not selling it and when i heard your lecture i said really simply standing there i sold it when i sold it tyage nahi ki amritatva manush this is what i like among the whites in america the statistics is every person changes houses in their lifetime at least 5 to 6 times and wives at least 3 to 4 times <laughs> see this is worth learning from them i like them in this regard tremendously they really do not have too much attachment or possessiveness about things or beings see there is to be one stanton here you all know I used to have earlier that um, Apple uh, Air laptop. My storage was very less, so I used to do all the video everything on. So it was a problem always. So he said, "Why don't you let us swap it?" He had two fifty GB. Mine was very less, and mine was I think three year old model, and his was new. He he said it doesn't matter. How easy! If I had to give pen drive, you think, dhari dhari. That is one of the greatest quality. See? Therefore, which is so many houses. That was my house. Then I lived here. This house, my great grandfather's father has brought this house. Don't hold on to the things and be. keep moving keep moving and this movement can be achieved if you drop the past 
and to drop the past and don't talk about your past. But you also talk so many times. Yes, I talk. But be attentive. When you learn from your past, you do not create impressions on your mind. When you don't learn from your past, you become expert in repeating the same mistake. That is what is called Pramada. Pramado vai mrityur bravimi. Pramadi is the death. So, Kutra pyarane deshe sunila truna valuko valuko pachite ki tala taru taru tala bhumo sukham shayana se purushasya tat taravaha patra phalandya sugandha shi tala nila parita kala kujita varvya gaha sarito mitrane kim nasyuhu Somebody is staying all in a open place, nice uh, um, white uh, um, sand is there and uh, nice trees and then everywhere is so beautiful, Full, uh, the fruits are there, trees are there, then nice air is going on and birds are chirping here and there. Now, if in this place are you not happy and what do you possess? Be attentive. Desire happens only about something finite. About infinite desire cannot be. Example. You go to some place and then you see some picture. Very beautiful. Oh, oh, so nice picture. I think I'll buy it. It will look very good in my drawing room, you know. That corner is free, I think. You buy it. Now, you go to, let us take um, Kanyakumari, where the three oceans meet. And then you look, the whole ocean expands. Do you get a thought? Let me carry this thing to my house. Therefore, Thoughts are possessive if the object is finite. So, lesser the possessiveness or desires erupt in our mind, to that extent we are merging in the infinite. You have to discover from your every experience. That is the reason why I like more of the oceans, expanse. Because there you disappear. See, when I went to Kailash many years, 19 uh, sometime, and uh, saw that everybody enjoyed, I also enjoyed. Then next year they wanted, Swami will go again. I said, I'll never come. Why? I said, after going there, you feel, Oh, huge mountain. I am so small. I said, I don't want that. You stand in front of the ocean, you disappear. Think of something infinite. And when you start thinking something infinite, your mind dissolves. Mind cannot comprehend the infinite. Therefore, Mitrani Kim Nasyuhu, wherever you go, you can be cheerful and happy because you are not possessive. Vairagya bhagya bhajaha prasanna maraso nirashasya aprathira phala bhoktuhu pumso jarmani krutartha ka ihasyat. Therefore, those wise and lucky people who are blessed with the dispassion, they will be prasanna chittaha, always cheerful and happy. Therefore, we told our mantra, if somebody does a mistake, how are you? Don't take a revenge. Better Sunata. So, I am on the top. But when we say I am on the top of the world, the word should carry the meaning also. How are you? Swami, you told me, I am on the top of the world. Hurry. <laughs> See, friends, you just have to start it. It will change. 
you know those people who um, present the pathetic miserable look they are very strong 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 ego what is the ego seeking attention those of you who have got dogs in their house when you go what is the first thing the dog he will come and climb all over you because seeks attention therefore those who are having this passion for the world will always cheerful and happy and then there is no expectation of any kind from anything or any being about the things we have got desires to possess or reject about the beings there is expectation of recognition love understanding etc so these two parts of our life possessions and relations they are valid when identified with the body we live possessions are valid when identified with the mind we live relations are valid at these two levels we carry the burden of this samsara and therefore those who are thus protecting themselves from this too they will be always cheerful and happy and therefore whatever comes is accepted not as a prarabdha the prarabdha word is used in our scriptures if you study aparokshanubhuti there bhagwan shankara acharya takes up this question some people ask if the realized mahatmas wise people they also suffer in their life why it happens so to their foolish question a foolish answer is given that it is because of their prarabdha but that doesn't mean it is right see but this has gone so deep in our system as if prarabdha means what something is really happening no see one girl was in her calcutta always used to come and eat my head there are some people that unnecessarily keep on talking talking and all rubbish so one day she came swami ji i got a question i said keep with you i don't know what no is there prarabdha for the wise people i said yes then what is the prarabdha for you you are my prarabdha for <laughs> eating my head all the time <laughs> therefore whatever comes accept it cheerfully happily and always know for certain any experience you take in the world begins remains ends no experience is permanent because of the temporary experiences to become permanently miserable is not the wise way of living so what cannot be cured should be endured pathetic thought of the english language what cannot be cured should not be endured but should be enjoyed conversion of endurance into enjoyment is spiritual life. we are here to celebrate life don't calibrate you know you know, i have done so much you know but my children don't listen my husband is like that my wife is like that don't take any relation seriously the moment you take anything seriously relations particularly you have become possessive one simple thing i'll tell you pray don't possess anything in this life but belong always possessions is a burden belonging is unburdening we belong to god so jo thari raha hai so mari raha hai relax but when we possess i have to do this i have done this then you suffer you are carrying the burden see therefore one person asked me recently in south india swami ji um why i feel that um, you don't like me i said you don't feel it is right 
What is the reason? The reason is you want to possess me. Don't possess. It will be difficult. You must belong. Belong to God. If you belong to Him, you are relaxed. Like a child belongs to the mother. So he holds her. Mother has to go and get him. She would have. See? Therefore, Dravyam Panitala Chuta Yadi Bhavetka Pramadatada Shokayat Tadar Piteshvatyavate Tosha Yachashreyate Swatantyad Vishaya Prayantyad Yadami Shokayaye Susyadam Santyatka Swayame Vachis Sukamayam Nishreya Samtanvate If something uh, very important for us, if it has fallen from our hand because of inheritance, it becomes the cause of misery. See? This example I had given in some of my talks. Now here I will tell you in our local language. Somebody picks up your pocket and you have lost in that, let's say, $10. You will be very miserable. These day people come to oh, oh. just example, don't worry. Suppose you give me one million dollars. Example, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so when you give me one million dollar on your own, in both the cases, when somebody has picked your pocket or when you have given me this much amount, is it not a loss to you? But first is a painful loss. The second is a joyful loss. How simple it is. That is why before anybody has to tell Abjav, we should have the wisdom to go away. In some place, I mean, you start on dot and you end also on dot. What is the reason? I said, before you walk, walk away, I should start. It's so simple, my friends. Where we are not required, we should not hang around. We should have the wisdom to quit. And this is what many elderly people do not have this wisdom. They hang around their children, their grandchildren, their, their great-grandchildren and make everything a mess. Most important friends. So, um, in the same manner, if we are able to give up the things, like you know, other example, those who are having diabetes, the doctor tell them, don't eat sugar. If you eat, we'll have to cut your throat because gangrene will happen here. Oh God, I have to give us no. But I suppose if I take sugar and take injection. So if he has to give up something, it is a painful. But if somebody on his own choice, I don't want to take sweets for one year, you yourself has rejected, no problem. See, I was in South Africa and where I was staying, People make many stories of their own imagination. So they told, I was staying first time in their house. See, Swamiji like this, Swamiji like that. Wow, wow, wow. And a picture was built and they were all tense, as if some tiger is coming in their house. So when I went there, I said, hey, forget your uh, Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu Hato. I went to the kitchen and started the kettle and had my cup of tea. Aha, very long flight. Swamiji, you made yourself, I said, shall I make for you? He said, what we were told that you are like a Rakshasa coming in. <laughs> and then she became very open, very comfortable. He said, Swamiji, um, we were told that you take only black tea and you don't take uh, sweets. Yes. But I have seen in your black tea, you are adding four teaspoonful of sugar. And you don't take sweets. And how many times you take tea in a day? I say five, six times. How much sugar goes in? And you say, I don't take sugar, sweets. Then, st 
stop taking sugar in the tea and eat sweets. I said, Mama, you make a sense. Then, okay, I stop. No, 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 not like that. You can stop slowly. I said, nothing happens slowly, either this way or that way. So stop means stop. The first two, three days, it was, little tongue was, okay, okay. But no means no. Now, it is so easy. Whenever we renounce something on your own, you will be never miserable in life. Another example. One couple uh, divorce. And then the man came. Swami, I feel so lost and depressed. I said, how is your wife? She is okay. I said, now find out the reason. Divorce happened to both of you simultaneously. She is okay. Why you are miserable? I don't know. I said, I'll tell you. She has rejected you. You stand rejected. What do you mean? I said, I mean this. If you reject yourself, you will never be miserable in life. If you get rejected by the world, you will be miserable. Before the world rejects us. See, before our so-called relations have to tell, Mommy, will you please go away? Before that, we should have wisdom. Therefore, it is so important. We have to give up ourselves. And when we thus give, we discover our inner strength. All spiritual practice is discover your infinite potentiality. We can. Nothing is impossible. When Arjuna was told Atma Upamena Sarvatra Savam Peshati Arjuna Dukham Vayadiva Dukham Sa Yogi Paramo Mataha Arjuna immediately asked the question Chanchalami mana krishna pramati balavad drudam tasyaham nigram ne vayori vasurushkaram. Hey Krishna, mind is chanchalam pramati balavad and drudam. And to such a terrible mind to control is very difficult. Bhagavan says, yes, no doubt. What you did is right. But abhyase nadu kaunteya vairagya nacha griyate. Practice. See? And once you do anything in your life with this understanding, anything, for example, you give up sweets for one year and then you discover what you can achieve anything you want. Now try this anywhere. You take one of the mantras. Because so no mat bolo, try this. Once you work on it, slowly, slowly, you will come to discover, we can, we must, we should. Then only it is a spiritual life. So Vairagya is not going to the forest and creating a samsara there. See? In uh, Nasik, in the earlier day, the roads were different. Now, there is a direct road from Bombay to Shirdi. We don't have to go via Nasik, it's a bypass. So earlier when I used to go, there should be one uh, hotel there, Dwarka. So halfway, we used to go and uh, stop there, have nice food, etc. And after that, when we come out, there used to be one pan shop. And the pan shop was run by one Swami. Proper address and all that. So I enjoy eating pan. So my friend said, we used to go and eat pan. He will take money from everybody except from me. Swamiji, we belong to the same profession, so I will not take money from you. <laughs> then I said, Ek ke do. <laughs> You want more. <laughs> so, you become a sannyasi and keep on earning, opening a shop, Ganesh Pan Bidi shop. Ganesh has neither taken pan nor bidi. <laughs> See, friends, therefore, 
Swayame vache sukhamayam nishreya sam tanvate. Therefore, if we renounce everything by our own choice, not under compulsion, tyage naike amritatva manasha. Vismrutyatma nivasa mutkata mahava, tavyam chiram parjatan, santa patraya, dirga dava dahana jvalava, jvalavali vyakulaha, valgan falgushu, sudapta dipta nayam chetam kuru, palad, asha pasha vashi krutopi vishaya, jagrayo busha hanyate. A person forgot his own place where it is and therefore he was moving in the samsara, in the ocean of the samsara and was being (coughs) um, roasted because of the fire everywhere. And that, who is that person? Is our chitta, the deer with the beautiful eyes moving all around. There is fire, doesn't know where to go. And at that time, so many wild animal, tigers come and attack on him. What is the condition of that deer? That is our condition in this samsara. Therefore, number one, do not justify you are miserable. Do not seek sympathy from anybody. Whenever we seek, seek sympathy, we are not spiritual path. See? Can you imagine a <coughs> prince, the son of a king, he is moving on the roadside, lifting the butts of the cigarettes and smoking, and that is seen by the king. Will he feel good? My son, doing this kind of thing, in the same manner, if we are devotee of the Lord and if our life is as pathetic, disgusted, we are hurting our beloved Lord. We don't have confidence in Him. We doubt Him. Therefore, never feel self-pity. As much it is necessary, we should not have arrogance. To the same extent, we should not have self-pity. Then only, one we will be able to attain fulfillment in life. <coughs> self-pity is what, the I am what I am lucky, I am not like you, you know, you have a nice car and I am a car. You know. Your a car, yes, I got two cars. <laughs> Gujarati. So, Utpanne Pivirage Vina Prabodham Sukhan Nasyat Sabhavet Guru Upadeshat Tasmat Guru Ashrayet Prathamam. Now, after having given importance of the Vairagya in our life, now the next topic is Utpanne Pivirage. We have got tremendous dispassion, Utpanne Pivirage. Why Viraga? I have stopped taking too much of food. Why? I cannot digest. Okay. <laughs> there is not vairagya. See? So, utpannepi virage, even if we have got sufficient vairagya, vina prabodham sukham nasyat. Remember this. Knowledge alone is the foundation of spiritual life. See? Vina prabodham. Prabodh sudhakar, isn't it? First step is shravan. I do not know, then hear and know. Reading books or particularly reading scriptures is a wrong approach on the spiritual path. We have to listen. Shravan, when we read, we, tra- we understand according to our convenience. But when we are in satsang, I don't know whether it is your experience or not, but my experience is this. Thoughts erupt in our heart according to the need of the audience. We don't prepare what talk I am giving. 
But when we are reading the books, then either we struggle with the Sanskrit or we have our own biasness. What is there for them to sell that you should have this passion? Has Shankaracharya got married? No. Then how can he teach the married people? See, friends. Therefore, Shravana is the first spiritual practice. Nowhere it is said Patanam. But it is Shravanam. If we do not know, the first step with dispassion is no day goes without your listening at least twice a day satsang. There are many people they tell us, Swamiji, when we drive, we have your talk going on, we reach, we don't know also where we reach, and the day goes very well. Give it a try. So the same talk you read, uh, listen twice. Morning and evening. One day you will discover what I am telling you. You will get two different messages from the same talk. Because when you are listening that stage, that particular point, what is the status of your mind, that will depend what you receive. And therefore, Utpanne pi virage vina prabodham. So when we listen, we start getting sufficient data. And what is the data? Removing wrong notions without creating new notions. This is the most important thing we have to remember. Wrong notions are removed by right understanding. Normally in all other paths, the wrong notions are create, uh, removed. No. They are replaced by the different notions. So earlier I was lazy, now I am crazy. Earlier I used to eat non-vegetarian, now I eat only vegetarian. Then I has to be deleted. Friends, Prabhupada Sudhakara means not freedom for I, but freedom from I. Therefore, Utpanne pi virage vina prabodham. So after we hear, listen, they thereafter mananam reflect. And what is the reflection? Not how it is possible. This is not reflection, this is objection. When this is said, how it can be implemented. See? Then you start working on yourself as an experimental animal. See? Like, you know, sometime, I don't know whether I came here at that time or not, for almost two years, I had stopped taking wheat and rice. I had to take only potato. Just wanted to experiment what happens. First few days it was troublesome, but then it became okay. So, do experiments. Slowly, slowly, by these experiments, we discover our inner strength. Then we can, we must, we should. There is no way of giving up. Therefore, Shravan followed by Mananam. Reflect on it. How it is possible, not how it is not possible. Shravan Manan, then Nididhyasan. Nididhyasana is, Nididhyasana is not meditation. Nididhyasana is living in meditation. Meditation is limited half an hour, one hour a day. Living in meditation, 24-7 you are in that mode. Which mode? Like, na, uh, Kamihi Priya Jimi Dham. Like for, Lobihi Priya Jimi Dham. Like for a greedy person. Other than money, there is no theme in his life. One example I'll tell you, I was with my friend, he's having a very beautiful, good shop, some nature and uh, health and all kinds of funny things. So we went to see somewhere, something. I saw, I said, hey, uh, what is the use of this? It looks very beautiful. And how it can be used and all that. He told me very well. Then um, he says, Samiji, do you know what I am thinking? You are thinking how it can be used. Yes. You know what I am thinking? No. Tell me. 
I am thinking, if I take this product and sell in my shop, I will get this much benefit. See, the object is the same. Me thinking of bhog, how it can be used. He thinking of how it can be used for money. See? So, a greedy person, wherever he will go, he think he will think about money, money, money. So, like that, Nididhyasana, other than the truth, nothing else is. And for that, Deha Bhimane Galite, Vidyate Paramatmani, Yatra Yatra Manoyati, Tatra Tatra Samadaya. Then we slowly come to discover this truth. The really, the whole world becomes meaningful only after body identification. The day you will get this click in your life, I had told hundred times, you heard also million times, but it has to happen. When this will happen? That this world comes into existence only after body identification. With a click of a mouse, you will be withdrawn from the world although you are dynamically involved in this world. Like a nanny looking after somebody's child, with the child 100%. But when she goes home, everything is over. She is concerned about her own child. How simple it is. Therefore, Nididhyasana is, we are now committed to the divine, nothing else. And once you take this thing, then your vision undergoes a change. Like one person, one of the person who also conducts satsang in uh, Gujarat, I think, we were having a retreat in Bhimpura, he also came there. He asked me this question. Swamiji, I have no question, but I want to get guidance from you. Can you tell me the books that you are referring for giving examples? I am always short of examples. Where do you get so many examples? I said, one is you. You have to learn from every interaction in the life. Then you are walking spiritual path. As a result, what happens? Whenever we learn from any experience, that experience does not create any dot or dash on our mind. This is what Bhagavan says in second chapter. Sukha dukhe same krutva labha labha jaya jayo tato yuddhaya yujjasva naivam papam avapsasi. What is the papa? Papa is when impressions are created on the mind as a result of interaction with the world. That is a pap, sin. Kim tena nakrutam papam chorena atma paharina. Can there be worse sin than this? You are divine, but you start thinking you are miserable. It is the highest sin. Therefore, utpanne pi virage vina prabodham sukham nasyat. Both things are essential. Like a bird must have both the wings perfect, balance. If only one wing is good, other wing is weak. He will struggle to fly, but he will go on wriggling in the same place. He can't go up. In the same manner, dispassion and um, knowledge or experience, two together. And how the dispassion happens? They are mutually supporting. Discrimination when matures, dispassion happens. When dispassion happens, discrimination becomes intense. Supporting each other. Like a discrimination. If I uh, wake up very late, I will not be able to um, 
attend a class. Therefore, I must wake up early and therefore I must sleep early and therefore I should not watch the horrible um, H HOB movies. Chalte gaadi me latakti lash. Now that movie you see at night. And then what will come in the dream? Mary Lashchar is. <laughs> My own carcass is going. See, friends, what priority we fix in our life? What is the priority in our life? Keep only one priority. Be happy. Our struggle is to become happy. You can never become happy and you can never be miserable. So being is happiness. Becoming is misery. So utpanne pi virage vina pramodam sukham nasyat. So remember this one. I don't want liberation. Liberation from I. Who is this fellow miserable? Then you will come to discover that the one who is miserable doesn't exist. So the one which doesn't exist you can't help. So, sa bhavet guru padeshat. So, prabodha instruction to attain the bliss in life. Where do we get? Sa bhavet guru upadeshat. Because of the instructions from the guru. Guru Upadeshat. Upadesha. Upa means near. Upavasa. Fasting, what they call in English. But the word meaning of Upavasa is Upa means near. Vasa means to be. Be nearer to God. So Ekadashi is Upavasa. So that day they think about Khani Kili <laughs> Therefore, Guru Upadeshat, Upadesha, Upanir, Desha, be where Guru is. Where the Guru is? Guru is in our heart and the nature of that Guru is learning from every single experience of our life. Remember, nobody can teach anybody anything in life. And nobody can stop if you are learning. Physical guru is like an um, arrow mark post. On that post it is written. In our khandala, there was, I don't know if now they are on, there was one nice board towards Mumbai. So what they have written? Good. Tumchi Mumbai. You go. Don't come here. So when it is Tumchi Mumbai, then you don't go and hold on to that pillar. You have to walk that direction. In the same manner, external guru can give you direction, but you have to walk. No, Guru Maharaj, Uta, Mule Guru. If you are learning, God cannot stop you. And if you don't learn, God cannot make you understand. See? Bhagwan Krishna, we are called, isn't it? Krishna Mumbande, Jagat Guru, Bhagwan Krishna, Jagat Guru. And he is not only the ordinary, but he is Yogeshwara Krishna. He failed to teach. Duryodhan, Dushasan, Dhritarashtra. What kind of guru is he? Therefore, don't push the guru outside and be a challenge to the guru. Sudhar ke dikha. Don't be a challenge. You have to learn yourself. So, sab havet guru padeshat. Tasmad gurum ashrayet prathamam. 
therefore invoke that guru in your heart by the simple rule i know you are not you will not do it but i keep on talking make a copy and nice one and don't take the um old printouts which are not required on the back side start writing people do that take a new good copy notebook and write what i have learned today every day learn only one thing but every day something different other is same they did do it to i know your technique so you will see you will discover this ability in you therefore when i told that person that what where from i get uh, various examples because of learning when we the start practicing this then gurum ashrayet prathamam so our guru is our ability to learn from every single experience in life then only atma siddhi will be happening yadyapi jaladehe udakam yadyapi va prerako anilas tatra tadapi pipasa kulita pratikshate chatako megam the ocean is full of waters and there is a lot of air also moving and because of that everywhere there is water 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 but the chataka pakshi i don't know what is that meant the bird he is waiting for the rains to fall and then he will drink the water in the same manner parmatma is everywhere where is not but yet we are it is not available to us in the same manner we have to go to satsang when you go to satsang on a regular basis go to means what listen wherever you are listen slowly slowly our thinking will undergo a proper directional thinking then you will discover many things one or two things i'll tell you your vision changes means what happens do we become cross whatever so since i have realized i am seeing like this no, no, no. what does it mean you get a message from everywhere like <clears throat> and that message is so simple it's not very difficult complicated now we are all frustrated about thoughts mind is disturb mind is disturb and then we go and ask somebody and disturb him also instead of that if you are learning then you will come to discover what i am telling you now thoughts are no problem you will not see this in any book they will say chitta vritti nirodha we are not in favor of that thoughts are no problem then flow of thought is a problem like ganges we take bath no problem but when the same ganges are in floods there is a tremendous flow so we are not carried away by the water but by the flow of water and then we go we are displaced from one place to another place exactly the same way the thoughts are no problem but the thought flow takes us from where we are to where we should have been etc keep on imagining one after another and the theme of the thought when the theme of the thought is finite there will be a thought flow when the theme of the thought is infinite there will be no thought flow this is what happens with many people they do the japa but they create a thought flow Om namo shivaya 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 don't create a thought flow 
arrest it. And then, how to arrest it? Again, start reflection. Then you will come to know, thoughts are nothing but words unexpressed, are thoughts. Yes. So, stop talking to yourself and think. Or, don't use any words and think what you like. I am not imposing anything on you. Recognize and learn from your own direct experience. If we are convinced of this, then you will practice the next mantras. Before we talk to anybody on any topic, ask a question to yourself. Is it necessary to talk? So, thought formation is suspended. And then you will come to discover that many a times we talk when it is not necessary. Those who are too vocal, they talk loudly. Those who are not vocal, they talk to themselves. Constantly. And as a result, a thought is formed, a flow is formed. And therefore, <clears throat> make a theme which is infinite, no finite theme. Like finite theme, my morning example, tea, cup of tea I want. So when I get up, finish my morning things, then I will go to the kitchen. I don't know where they are kept, you know, the light is not there. Why? I want a cup of tea. Therefore, <clears throat> to make infinite as the theme of thought, infinite is one. Now what is infinite? Infinite is, sounds are, words are finite, silence is infinite. This Shanti is our essential nature. Give it a try. It's not difficult. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Sri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi Om